Gang, New Year's Day, we got a special treat for you. Oh, baby. Yeah, we're going to be coming to you live from Antony's house, Mm -hmm. shaking off those hangovers together. Yeah, won't be able to cut anything during this. We're going out live, baby. We're doing it live. Let's go. Uh, It's going to be fantastic. We've got a lot of cool stuff planned. We're going to have some guests coming by. We're going to be a little hair to dog. Boys are going to be boozing. Get rid of the hangover blues. We got Patty and Denise making an appearance, which I haven't told her about yet. (laughs) Guys, it's all going down at uh, Moment.com. We're going to be live streaming uh, Sunday, January 1st at 8 p.m. Eastern. Sign up now. Yeah. Do it. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Mm-hmm. It's a little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find out the group to be classy. Yeah. Or if they're just a big old piece of trash. <sighs> I'm your host, Dave Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're down here at Aunt Tootie's basement. She just handed me her Christmas wish list. Okay. A tripod and a ring light. <laughs> All right. Fair <laughs> enough. Asking for trouble. My co-host is coming at you from right next to me. I kind of got, got him this me week. halfway. He is the CEO of Are You Garbage? He is an international businessman, and he's my best pal in the whole wide world. And that's all I want for Christmas. Give it up for KJ, Kevin James Ryan. Hey, gang. What's up? Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, view, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. As you know, those numbers are... True to roof. Cooking. Over 100K Let's over there. Go. And obviously, the greatest goddamn website of all Ooh. time, www.patreon.com. Slash are you garbage? Talk about a fucking life-changing website that is. Yikes. Fucking Google can kick rocks. And then, obviously, we just announced uh, our New York City show tickets are on. Let's go. Tickets are on sale now for the Gramercy fucking theater. Woo! Get those tickets. Army of Garbage. Let's sell it the fuck out. Yeah, come see us, gang. And having a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire, the Magic Man. Makes us all look good. Works the ones and twos. Crosses the T's and dots the I's. Mm-hmm. Give it up for T-Bone McMuffin. Toby McMullen, everybody. What's up, dudes? What's up, T-Bone? It's Christmas time in New York, baby. Let's I, do it. I saw Santa get stabbed on the G train. That happens. <laughs> That'll happen. Enough of that talk. We have guests here. God damn it. Jesus Christ. Gang, we couldn't be more excited to have our incredibly, and I mean incredibly special guest Uh here with us today for the first time. He is a very funny stand-up comedian, actor, and writer, and podcaster, and you've seen him in, but not limited to. We got Superior Donuts. We Uh got Drunk History, Alone Together, Goat Face, Corporate, A Moral Compass, United States of Al wrote 14 episodes of that. Hachi no much. big deal. It's a writer. You also got Seth Myers. You got Ed Midnight. You got Last Call with Carson Daly. Tiger Belly, UTF, Joe Rogan, Conan. He has an amazing special from 2017 called There's No Business Like Show Business. And he also has an absolutely fantastic brand new special out right now called Hat Trick, filmed at the world famous comedy store. And he has an amazing podcast called Fahim Anwar Dance Hour. Ladies and gentlemen, Fahim Anwar. Hey. Oh my God! Thank you. Look at and he's a good-looking kid. Good looking I'm all right. Kids. He's for got comedy. good bone structure for comedy. I'm I got, okay. got nervous at the end there. For real life, you, you're disgusting. You know, it makes me feel like I've done stuff when you read because I feel like shit most of the you time. Have, and baby. then you like you. read those things. I'm like, sure. oh yeah, I've done. I've worked. Kid's a worker, man. 14 I, episodes. Yeah. Not too I like too the deep shabby. cut of like Last Call with Carson Daly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shout out to CD, all right? I just, I, I'm just like lucky enough I don't have that as my credit still when I hit the stage. Oh, uh, yeah. I was going to use that last. Just expired <laughs> credits. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, that was my thing. Yeah, I think you know, it was honey. TV shows that are no longer on the air. It was like Laughs on Fox, oh. Gotham Comedy Live, sure. Comics Unleashed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> If, if I got on it, it got canceled very soon. A couple after. episodes of Cops. That's yeah. all you got. <laughs> yeah, Buddy, on... congratulations on the special. Oh, yep. thanks, dude. Thanks, man. Absolutely fantastic. You're bringing the pod back, you said? Yeah, bringing it back. Took there a little you hiatus go. when I had the writing job. Time was kind of limited, but yeah, going to bring it back. Nice. Yeah. Give right. us the scoop. What's the uh, what's the backstory? Give us the origin story here. <laughs> the Fahim Anwar origin story? Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's see. Grew up in Seattle. Okay. People think East Coast. People think I'm from New York, but I've never... You do have a little bit of New York vibe. What is, what is, what is that, though? I don't know. I don't know. A little Something bit of a though. tood, the hair, maybe. Tood? Whoa, this what is, is blow-dried, though, so that's not... <laughs> I got to fake it. Yeah, Get the yeah, hell yeah. out of here. Yeah. I saw him in the bathroom Yeah, I don't, wa- I don't wake up like that. I wish I did. I wish I did. <laughs> Trust me, you don't want to wake up like this. <laughs> that's bad. Believe me, my friend. Bad. Yeah. You're doing all right. Yeah, so, yeah, grew up in Seattle, and then... Seattle's beautiful. We were just there. City, in yeah. the city proper? Outside. No, the Burbs. The Burbs. The Burbs. So first Linwood, 
and then Muckle Teo, and then Woodenville. My parents are in Woodenville, so that's where I went to high school. What the folks do? Dad engineer at nice. Boeing. So I knew this, at I knew Boeing. This, I knew it was gonna be a sharp kid. I knew this was coming in good lineage. Mm-hmm. Your dad was an engineer, engineer at yeah. Boeing. Engineer at Boeing. What did he work on? Commercial? Commercial. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Seven three seven and triple seven. He might have done seven four seven two. Nice. Yeah, yeah. So just like know. forever. That's the coal mine. Like before tech came in, it was all about Everett and and Boeing and plane. Like everyone worked at Boeing. Yeah. Sure. They still do, it's huge. But like yeah. now there's Amazon. Now there's you know, oh, get out. he's working on aircraft. He's working on aircraft. Come he's getting on, his, what are we doing there? here? He's in a cubicle. I was saying, like, he's getting, yeah, his, hands he's getting dirty. his hands dirty. He's getting his hands dirty on calculators yeah. and, and <laughs> two monitors. The Wait, he's not flying. What's going on here? So he worked. Where did he go to school? He went to two. He went to North Dakota State, and then he also went to Minnesota. Okay, yeah, not bad. Hmm. Engineer, what'd your mom do? <laughs> Nursing at first, and then she did that for a long time, and then she pivoted into like hair. So she does hair now. Okay, yeah, all right. She work in a salon, or she do it in house. Uh, at a salon. Okay. So it has a station at a salon. Nice. Okay. Yeah. How long has she had that? Maybe like ten years now, or like eight, eight, ten years. Was she ever cutting hair in the house before? Oh, all the time. Even Ooh. before she was doing that, like trying to pivot, she would cut my brother's hair and my hair and my dad's hair just to save money. <laughs> Where at in the house was that happening? <laughs> We'd do the bathroom. I'd always have to get the chair she from my did, brother's dude, room. Pulling a chair into the bathroom is to... a tough look. <laughs> I've done it. Yeah. I take back everything I said. Uh-huh. <laughs> that's awesome. And then, like, when she was new to it, she would, like, it was a haircut that would take two hours. You know? <laughs> oh, that's never good. Wait, so hold Too on. fast or too slow is bad for hair. Yeah. yeah. So you go back. To, you need the meaty part of the curve. She was in nursing. Never did any hair stuff before no, at no, all. No, no. But just, this is just an immigrant thing. Like, I'm not going to pay a professional to cut hair. Sure. I have scissors. You have hair. Like, so she didn't even. She, she didn't start cutting your guys' hair as kids because someday she wanted to be in the business. She was just doing it out of necessity. Kind of, just to save money. And then I, at some point, she's like, you know what? I like this. I want to do you this know, professionally. I, I never thought about it that way, that maybe we were just a gateway to her dream. Sure. Yeah. I finally clicked in. Yeah. I just thought that it was a financial thing. Like, uh, we don't want to pay money for you to go to someone. Let me just cut your hair. How bad were the haircuts from Jump they Street? Weren't, they weren't terrible, you know? But she would always take pride in it. Like, every time I'd come home from school, she would be like, did people... What did they say? Did yeah, they, what's the she buzz? Would, she would, what's the buzz she, on the schoolyard? She would think that I'm trending. Like, <laughs> like all the girls. And like, Hashtag oh my God, new haircut? Yeah, have you yeah. seen Fahim's new haircut? It's fucking awesome. You have a Who cut perm? his mom? <laughs> his mom cuts it? Got highlights It's too going. good. Okay, that's pretty good. Hmm. Do your parents still live in the same house that you grew up in? No, this is like... Third, third or fourth. Okay. Um, what was the name of that street that you grew up on? Like the bulk of my childhood, I would say Serene Way. Whoa. Mm. That, one, that one got the peanut gallery. It's, and it was Serene was, Way sounds Serene very nice. Way. How much was your mom charging you for those haircuts? <laughs> it must be oh, high end. cow. Okay. That's pretty was good. Was that a single house, apartment, condo, townhouse? What are we talking? It was a house. Okay. Multiple rooms. I had, my ro- I had a room. My brother had a room. My parents had a room. How far apart are you and the, your brother? Three and a half years. Okay. Yeah. Older o- or younger? Older. You're younger. Younger, yeah. All right. That's good. Mm. Not bad. Was there a garage at that house? There was two garages. Two, what did what? you just say? What, like a two-door garage? One for the Is plane. Is that insane? A, a two, wait. There was two, there was one garage or two garages. Like when you look at the garage. It was a two-car gar- two two car car garage. garage. But one garage. Okay, I got you. Yeah. What okay. were you parking in there? What was the old man rip- whipping around in? Oh, fuck. What did he have? Okay, we, there was always a van. Okay. There's always a Dodge Caravan. Okay. Shout out to it. That is, I guess that's like an affordable, yeah, reliable, it it's like a staple. Did they Some move family, here? Or what? were they born, your parents born here? No, Afghanistan. Yeah, parents your parents are both from Afghanistan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. They drove the Dodge Caravan over. That <laughs> was a literal caravan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still got a couple of miles left on uh-huh. it. What are you talking about? Yeah. Okay. So that and then maybe like a Toyota Corolla. That All was right. kind of a staple, a van and a Toyota Corolla. They're two very, that is, I think that is a very immigrant mentality. You said of like cutting the hair. It's like, a, they're very practical, affordable, reliable things. It's, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two car garage, though. Did you, where, would you, could you fit two cars in it or was it filled with shit? No, you could fit two. Yeah, 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 Was there a refrigerator in that garage? There was. What was in there? Uh, like frozen meats. It's mm-hmm. sort of like my mom's just storing stuff for. Gotcha. You know what I mean? Like long term. Sure. Surplus. You're not going thing. in and out a bunch, but there's like sauces in there. Maybe that they're they're frozen. Sure. Or, yeah, yeah. Any sodas? Oh, yeah. Anything sodas, like that? Uh, yeah. There'd be like a case of Coke. Okay. You know, so if you want, you would like go to the garage and like bring right. a few into the house. That counts as a garage fridge. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. Because my I grew up with a Korean my Korean buddy. They had a fridge in the garage, but it was mostly Korean food. But then they also had, like, you know, the Americanized ice pops and sodas uh, and shit like that. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, it's more. It's mostly my mom's fridge. Like we we didn't really have shit in there. We just had it in the regular fridge. Gotcha. Or the snack situations. Yeah. Good snacks, or were you jealous of the other I, kids? Oh my god, dude! I would go to my white friend's house, and I, it was like Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. <laughs> it's like being in a supermarket. <laughs> like when I moved to Woodenville, my next door neighbor across the street, uh, David Bradley. Like we would go it's to the his. The whitest guy in the world. <laughs> yeah. Shout David out, Bradley. Yo, shout out two, to the Bradleys. Two first names. Yeah. That's like the that's the whitest shit, right? Shout out yeah. to yeah. baby. So we would, stovetop I, stuffing's I, always cooking there. The first time I opened up, he's like, "Yeah, grab something from the pantry." It was like a room. I could walk into it. Yeah, they were big. That was. They were big in the 90s. All my life, That's you open right. up a door. It's like a and, closet. Yeah, it's, it's like a closet. Like there, yeah. His was, there's like lights in there. If you could enter and they had its own light switch. That was some ball and ass shit. Yes. If your pantry had a light switch. It, it smelled like candy. It was like a convenience store yeah. in there. <laughs> I've, been in, I've been in fucking smaller gas stations. <laughs> a couple of lottery tickets. Yeah, there was a Korean guy in there telling me just like to hurry up as well. Yeah, like, yeah, but, <laughs> they hired him. He must be on payroll. <laughs> so they had, Thinks you're stealing. Like at my house, we only had Coke. He had Dr. Pepper. He had Damn. like cream sodas. You know the bottle ones that are even more expensive. Really? Different Damn types bottles of on bottles. Twenty sodas. ounces. Get out of here. And That's only, crazy. The only rule he had was when you take one, uh, or if you take something from the fridge. Put it back like you, you know, replenish it. Sure, replenish that it was the something. only rule. That's like that's easy good. enough. That's Damn. pretty good. Take a soda, leave a soda. <laughs> were you? Were, were they? Were they pretty strict with the snacks, or could you have my parents? Yeah, she would like. Okay, lay mom, it out for my us. My mom us the used vibe. to get uh, like Chips Ahoy cookies for us. All right, pretty good. That's but now that bad. I'm older, that's like an economy cookie. They're pretty fucking good. No, though, man. but you get well, so many. That it's, it's an immigrant thing again. Like, so compared to what are we talking about, though? Look, nowadays I would get a Tate's cookie or, you know. Like Tate's? A, who's getting Tate's? That's crazy. Like, Tate's Stop is no good. In cutting hair in the no. kitchen. What are you, crazy? <laughs> who's like, got it, Tate's money? Tate's are great. You, yes. But you're not as, you're not stocking the house with Tate's no, for children. No, get out of here. I don't, I don't sure, even have sure, them sure. that often. <laughs> so Tate's. How many come in a Chips Ahoy? How many? Uh, probably about 25, 30. You get a couple no, more than sleeves. that. You get a couple rows. Uh, maybe I call it. 30. Yeah, let's All right, say 30. Well, it's a lot. So I think I used I to would... put down a sleeve a day. <laughs> oh, easily. Yeah. <laughs> she would hide them. Oh. She would put them um, in the dishwasher. What? And then okay. they would taste like dishwasher. <laughs> but I would still skate? eat them. <laughs> Wait, yeah, that's all you fuck? got. Yeah. Why would she put them in the dishwasher? Because she thought I wouldn't look in there, but I, I, <laughs> I would. <laughs> Or she would put them on top Little of the fridge. Little kid with a bad haircut uh, looking around. <laughs> <laughs> Dumbass won't find him in here. Oh, man. I used to love them. When you would find the hiding spot, there would always, there'd always be a moment of like, yeah, you thought you were going to get me, didn't you? You didn't think I'd crawl up on top of the refrigerator and look in the cabinet up there? What am I, a fucking <laughs> idiot? Yeah. I got eight hours. You're at work all day. Tearing this place apart like I'm the feds. Would you think that she wouldn't find out? Like, even though half of them are gone, yeah, she yeah, comes yeah, home. Yeah, like, yeah. I, don't, I don't know. Yeah. I didn't. Oh, you put them up there? Oh. <laughs> Maybe the dishwasher ate them. I yeah. don't know. Damn. All right, that's pretty good. What was the pool situation? Pool? No, no pool. Come no on. pool? No. B- backyard? Yeah, there's a backyard. Who's cutting the grass over there? My dad, of course. Dad would cut it. Push mower, riding mower. Uh, Gasoline, like push. Like push okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do it every Saturday, Sunday, whatever. Yeah, he they loves stay on yard top work. of that. Yeah, my dad's all about kept that. it tight, huh? Yeah, he did build all a right. basketball court, but like a janky basketball court for us in the backyard or in, in the, the driveway? backyard. Because me, my uh, backyard. Okay, so, so he we hi- like poured fucking blacktop. He hi- <laughs> kind of. So he hired this company or some guy to like pour cement, and there was these two by fours that like kind of cut the court <laughs> just for structure or whatever. Sure. And this cement. Call that the frame. The, the frame. Business. The frame. Yeah. yeah. So the guy did a beautiful job. So smooth, so level. And then my dad couldn't just leave it alone. He's like, I can fix it. So he took out like two little hand smoothers and then it just got worse and worse. <laughs> yeah. He kept on trying to smooth it out. Uh-huh. And then just for years, we had a lumpy court <laughs> and we would trip on the, the two by four because my His dad- family tries to do everything themselves. Well, man, he should have just, right. he just, should've should've just left, left it. it. The yeah. guy did a great job, but he couldn't just leave well enough alone. Uh-huh. Were you guys really into basketball? Why did he do this? Yeah, because we love basketball. You love basketball. I think he was doing us. It was a nice, like, fatherly solid sure. to do for the kids. Were you a good basketball player? I was good until everyone else grew. Sure. <laughs> I was amazing. I was like LeBron. I was, like, really good. I was fast. I could shoot. But then I stayed short for so long. Oh, man. I hated those kids that killed it in, like, fourth and fifth grade. Yeah, They're everybody just else. Oh, dude. I remember trying out for the basketball team, and, like, I wanted it in the worst way. And then they would... they. 
Did you guys ever get cut from sports? Yeah. Yeah. How do they do it? Did they just put a list up? I think. Yeah. Okay, this was fucked up the way I they got did written it. off the list. The basketball the aim, list. you stay. No, he would he would say, "I, I want to bring you in." Like he's gonna bring all the kids in one by one and uh-huh. let you know whether you're on the team or not and give you some input. What is this? Like little league basketball? No, nah, this is like middle school. All so, right, I'm in like sixth grade or something. Okay, no, I've never been cut from a school team. Oh, really? Yeah. Damn. No. All right. Well, I did. So <laughs> I'm trying out for a week or two. I, hold on, I just want to make that make sure that's clear with everybody. It's only little league, everybody. It was yeah. all right. So, I mean, I would prefer just the list and be like, okay, yeah, my, my name's not on there. I'll just sulk and go home. He but did I, it like Moneyball. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so I traded you for soda money. <laughs> gave, you, gave you the name and number of the coach from another school. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to Hillcrest now. Enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, so then I had to get called into this guy's office, and he's like, have a seat, and he's telling me everything that I'm bad at. And I'm I'm just like uh huh yeah just start like holding tears yeah what the fuck yeah lo- I'll work on that you're not the Lakers uh-huh. dude Jesus yeah. Christ just let me go home yeah <laughs> that's all right damn all right yikes that's pretty bad a lumpy um, basketball court is wild well, you have a basketball court at your house but it's lumpy maybe that's why I got cut. Yeah, no, <laughs> These floors are too flat. <laughs> yeah. I can't, if, I if can't was, play here. If this was bumpier, I would run circles yeah. around you guys. <laughs> Whatever, coach. Your court stinks. It's not even a hump in yeah. the middle. How do you do bouncers? Yeah. Uh, what was the name of the mall? Alderwood Mall. Alderwood Mall. Movie theater in there? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, yeah. What were the two main department stores? Do you remember? Uh, I don't know. But when I was a kid, we would hit... Zoomies a lot. Shout out to Zoomies. <laughs> Zoomies. Are they still around? Yeah. I bought a pair of shoes there not and, too long ago. And Spencer's. Spencer's was like of early course. porno for kids. Yeah, like a couple, of, a couple of erotic uh, greeting cards. Yeah. yeah. A poster. Like a, a sperm candle. Right. Oh, my God. I shouldn't be seeing this. That's pretty good. I don't hate it. What, um, what was the high school mascot? Uh, Falcon. Did you play in high school? I played... Uh, That's tennis. A, I played tennis. Played tennis. Right? Yeah. Okay. Are you good at that? Doubles. I think I don't think I was good enough to be singles. Doubles. They have doubles tennis in high school. Yeah. That just seems like I, got, I played. Around. I played women, so I wasn't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was fucking spiking it on these. Yeah. Bullets. They demoted me from doubles to women's. <laughs> That's, uh, it's killing. That's pretty good. Uh, what was your What was your first car? My first car. You know, I wanted to be like my brother because my brother was all about cars. He got a 91 or nine, a 90-something Honda Civic hatchback with tinted windows, there you go. alloy yeah. wheels, mm-hmm. uh, like two kicker 12 subs in the Shout back. Shout out to the subs in the back. Oh Probably a nice head unit in there, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ni- Remember when, like, Dolphins on the LCD mm-hmm. was such a stunt? So he, he was living that off. life. Yeah, like detachable. Yeah, put it in a case. So he had. I was like, oh, I want that. I can't wait till I'm old enough to do that. But then I just realized I don't care to, like, go through wasn't even Craigslist when's at the time. He, it was newspaper. When's he rocking this? About what age, would you say? Like 16, 17? 18. Like, okay. yeah, uh, no, yeah, when you get your license, 16? 16. Yeah, he was maybe 17. So 16, 17. So and what did he do? Did he work to save up and get all this yeah, stuff? Yeah, he would work at Safeway. Really? And like, yeah, and then paper out before that. To hook the car up. Right. So Man, my dad had a, a deal. Like, you, we pay half, he pays the other half. That's I good. I like that. I like that, too. Keeps you working. Mm-hmm. Plus, you get some tight shit out of it. Yeah. Kids don't really do that shit now, do they? Like, nobody really hooks the car up. Well, they're making millions off TikTok, so they don't need their yeah, dad. They have True. a driver. They just dance. Yeah. But no, I'm just saying, like, I never see... No, there's still dirt bags that are putting, you know... After effects? Rims. Yeah, like, yeah. Okay. After effects. Uh, or whatever it's called. Yeah. Aftermarket. Sure. Yeah. yeah. So, then I just, uh, I got out of that phase, then my dad just bought a car. He bought this, like, shitty 89 Toyota Corolla, a champagne Toyota they Corolla. All that color. They were all that champagne. And, yeah. And every single one of them was crazy. <laughs> and then they he, all smelled the same, too. Yeah. And then he goes, like, Do you want it? Just give me like $4,000. I go, Yeah, okay. It was just easy. Sure. I liked how easy it was. And sure. I would have a car. So I, I you know, I'm a, I didn't need the tinted windows and all that. Wait, he like, charged you four grand for it? Half of it. Whatever. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was like two. It was cheap. It was like 2500 How old are you at this point? I think I got my license. I was like, 16, 16 or 17. You had two G's on you? Yeah, man. Really? Where were you working? I would do, okay, first job was paper route. Okay. I would do that. How old are we talking? uh, Maybe 12 or 13. Okay. Yeah, it was called the Enterprise Newspaper. And I would deliver that around around Serene Lake. That's the neighborhood that I live. So I would do that. 
And then the job after that, when we moved to Woodenville, I worked at Cottage Lake Safeway. Okay. Doing so what? I was a, I was Cashier a bag bagger. Boy, bag boy. I was a bagger myself. Yeah, man. Me, baby. Fuck yeah. It's like Tetris, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, I lie. I still do it at self checkout. I get all. It gets me hard. <laughs> Yeah. You go, you go like one last rodeo. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're doing other people. I pull my apron on. Yeah. You go, Yo, you could do this for a living. You're uh-huh. like, I did. I used to. I'll handle that, darling. I just Thank do it for you. fun yeah. now. Eggs on top. What are you, you crazy? <laughs> Bread on bottom. <laughs> Change the game. Eggs on the bottom. Yeah, I loved it, man. It's an I, OCD thing. I worked there when I was because they w- they would hire you when you were young. So yeah. Fifteen and a half. Okay. Was the barrier of entry. So you working started working when you were a kid, saved up your money. Yeah, and That's then Nikes good. when I was five, I would make those. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> In the factory. Yeah. My dad's like, I'm sending you to China. You need to, you need to learn. Dental plan wasn't great, but it was all right. Yeah. Gang, today's episode is sponsored by PayPal Honey. Sweet as honey. The easy way to save when shopping on your phone or your computer. Mm-hmm. We all love shopping online. That's no secret. Who right? don't? Nobody wants to wait in the store anymore. What happens to all of us? We do our little shopping. Yeah. We get to the end, get to the checkout. You got a promo code. I got nothing. Never have a promo Squ- code. I'm paying full price like a goddamn dickhead. I know. But gang, thanks to Honey, searching for coupon codes is going to be a thing of the past. Yeah, guys. It is fantastic. As you know, I I dabble in the online shopping industry. He's frugal, this one. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm bad with money, I think it is. <laughs> but not anymore with Honey, baby. The other day I was buying a nice pair of kicks. I'm a big kick guy, Kippy, Kippy's kicks. Uh-huh. And uh, you get there, and it's like, do you have a promo code? And you panic, and you, just, you go to the depths of the internet. You go, you don't want to see what Google takes you when you look for a promo code. Yikes. <laughs> uh, but Honey takes care of all the that for you. The basement of a Kroger. Yeah, it scours the inter- internet. I saved about 20 beans on my shoes, by the really? way. Really? Baby, I love Honey, and you will, too. I'll never go shopping without it. You can save even more when you ask Honey to keep track of price drops on your holiday shopping list. If the price drops on any any item on your list, you'll instantly get an alert and let you know. If you don't already have Honey, you can be straight up missing out. By getting it, you're doing yourself a solid and supporting the podcast. We never recommend anything we don't use. I use Honey every day. So go get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash garbage. That's joinhoney.com slash garbage. Do it. Okay, let's talk about that true classic. Oh, baby, I'm wearing one right now. Shout out to the true classics. The most comfortable, the best fitting t-shirt you're ever going to own. I can tell you that right now. And yeah, I squeeze into them. All right. (laughs) I heard you talking shit. (laughs) They, 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 they come big. They're fantastic. They're great. I, I love, love them. them. Yeah. Listen, gang, enjoy your milk and cookies this holiday season. It does not matter. You got True Classics backing you up. Fits all in the right places. Sleeves are a little shorter. Good around the belly. Top, top quality product. I'm telling you. Yeah, if you're a heavy bike boy like us, I'm telling you, you need a little room around a waist, tighten the arms. You feel like an old varsity athlete, I tell you. Pipes. Back to my football days. I got polos, workout, boxers. <laughs> uh, keep the boys feeling nice and comfortable. True Classic has something for everybody on the list. And they even got big boy options, like we said. Right now, you get 25% off trueclassic.com slash garbage. Free shipping included on purchases over 100 bucks. That's go. 25% off at trueclassics.com slash garbage. Santa won't be the only one slaying. Thanks to True <laughs> Classics, I'm going to have sex with my wife. <laughs> uh, what about um, the vacations as a kid? Where would you go? What would you guys do? We would do frugal, kind of affordable local vacations. So we would go to Canada a lot. We would go to this place called Penticton. Penticton or Penticton? There and then Kelowna. There was a place in Canada called Kelowna. My dad would always say, "Like it's the Hawaii of Canada." <laughs> was it a beat? It was a beach. Yeah, there was, there was a beach. Yeah, it was nice. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, was it warm? Water was the Hawaii, the Hawaii of Canada. <laughs> yeah, it's saying a lot. It's probably freezing. <laughs> no, nah, it was. It was fine. It was. It, yeah, we would just like Middle pile. Of February. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's just a bunch of Mounties eating Spam. <laughs> we're just like in our jackets, just freezing, and he's like, "It's the Hawaii." Hmm. Okay. That ain't, who babysat you when you were a kid? Do you have any babies? Was there any other family around? Uh, like cousins and stuff and aunts. So when yeah, did, you, but when did your different. parents come over? Like late seventies. They came over in the late seventies, and did they have family that was already over here? No, like uh, my yeah, my dad had some. Like they were starting to come over around the same time. There okay. wasn't like a bunch of people here, so was, the trickle was happening. Any tight family? Like, did you have any cousins? Like first cousins or second cousins around? Growing up, yeah, yeah. There was my cousin Mustafa and Nilo. They were like in a like a few towns over, maybe All like right. a thirty minute car ride. That's not them. bad. Did you see them a lot. Yeah, maybe like twice, twice a month. That's good. So yeah. who would watch you as a kid? Who would be your babysitter? 
probably, I mean, my brother, when he got old enough, I don't recall having babysitters, really. Like somebody from outside coming in. Yeah, not really. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. pretty good. How would you get to school? Bus, walk, drive? So, like elementary school. I would walk. We were close enough to yeah. Serene Lake Elementary where I would I would walk. Would everybody in the neighborhood walk? Yeah, or if you if you lived around where we did, you, you could walk it. Was there always a sidewalk? Or were we ever actually on the road? Uh, we were on the road for like half oh, of man. it. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! Here we go. Stepping over tires. Like we're getting closer. All right, yeah, we're cracking this thing wide open. I used to play bass. Like All right, a, electric me too. bass. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. There's one right behind you. Damn, are you I, still good? No. I he was, bought it for me for a Christmas present nice. last year, and it, sat here for a it year. hasn't left the studio. Would you wrapping like, it up again this year. Yeah, would you make look me an up? offer? Uh, yeah, how much? How He'll much pay half. You? <laughs> <laughs> you're hard. You're hard working, kid. Are you still good? I was never good. Yeah, me too. I was never solid. I, I would look up tabs. You know, like you how to play long view. Yeah. Do you and, still uh, own a base? It's still at my parents' house. Still at your parents' house. Yeah, yeah. What kind a of base? Fender did you amp, have? Gibson. Okay. Yeah. No instruments in the house that you live in now, the apartment you live in now. No. No, no. guitars on the wall or anything like that. No, I would just be like a poser. I'd be faking it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Who was the name of your uh, pediatrician? Oh man. Oh, Doctor Doctor Gellin. Sounds pretty respectable. Yeah. Was that office in his home? No, my mom used to work for him. Okay. There you go. Keep it in the fam. Got the hookup. Oh um, yeah, he used to have a dog. He had like a dog that he would. In just visit, yeah, it would just like oh, accompany with him. Really? This is before bringing your dog was cool. Yeah, yeah. You, and like, the office wasn't in his house. It was not. It was a, a professional was center. Professional center. And it was a dog running no, around. Yeah, with a bandana. Huh? That don't help you out. All <laughs> right. I would, It's funny because I went into this coffee shop and it was a dog friendly coffee shop, which I thought was sweet. I love doggies. But the lady that was working there, she'd come around and fucking be petting the dog and like fucking mm. touching its mouth. And yeah, they got to like, wash her hands every time. Nah, she went back there. She's raw dog in my latte. Like, yeah. what the hell, lady? Mm -hmm. If I want dog slobber, I'll get kisses like a gentleman. <laughs> um, would you buy your school lunch or would you take a lunch? My mom would pack a lunch. I would have the same sandwich what, for what, years what, and years. What kind of sandwich like are you talking about? It's, it's uh, like a turkey, maybe turkey, mm -hmm. cheese, lettuce on it. It was a respectable. Let us on a school lunch is all right, though. Can that of, rarely happens. Can of soda thrown in there? No, Capri Sun. Come on. We're really? not a soda. Like soda, that cuts into your Capri overhead. Capri you Sun family. Who wasn't? Yeah. You're, you're, you guys are younger. You got, Capri Sun was super expensive when I was a kid. No. That's I'm like, telling you. She went you? to Costco, 38. She went yeah, to Costco. Yeah, he's older, though. I'm 46. So what was the drink of choice, then? The drink of choice was the, was the high seas. They were the ones that were cheap. When they when they, when the when Capri, Capri Sun, Sun dropped were, in the eighties, that was it was a, a high end, yeah. it was a boutique operation. It was fucking space, the space age stuff. They got it from the astronauts. <laughs> Interesting, but she would go to Costco, so I'm sure she got a great deal on it. But what, what the bougie f uh, fruit juice for us growing up was a squeeze it. If you oh, had a squeeze yeah, there it, there wasn't enough shit. of them, man. Game they only over. Came in, they came in those six packs that were barely a pack. Dude. Those were like cigarettes in jail. If you, <laughs> if, you, if you had to squeeze it. Man, that blue squeeze They it. were like syrup. They were so concentrated. Just beautiful packaging. Yeah. Twisting twist. that shit off. And you felt, like, away, you, right? felt yeah. like you were a bartender. <laughs> like, yeah, there you go. Crack it. Yeah. I got so good, I could break this it off the, me, <laughs> the edge of a table. <laughs> you doing it really? with your teeth and no, shit. I think we got a lighter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, okay. Remember squeeze it? Um, yeah. I forgot about that shit. Any other snacks in, in, in the lunch with you? The sandwich? Yeah. A fruit snack. Um, fruit roll up? Yes. So it's fruit roll up for a bit. And then Gushers was nice. Really? I really, that was kind of, you know, that's you're, a pretty good You guys are doing well. Right. Yeah, you're doing all right. Fruit roll up sucked. Oh, really? I loved, I, I loved I was a big roll up I guy. I loved it. Fruit by the foot sucked. Because yeah. you couldn't what? get a good shot at it. No. You were just fruit like, by the foot was great. You just had to fucking take it all out and roll it up and put it in your mouth at once. Mm. Just saying. Sure. All your food's by the foot, <laughs> I feel. <laughs> you get three feet of beef. <laughs> um, hmm. Did you take the SATs? Yeah. What'd you get? You seem like a bright young I kid. I swear to God, I don't remember. I don't believe oh, No, 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 no. I, I swear to God. But here's the thing. It didn't matter for me because I did this program called Running Start where you could take half community college classes. Uh, everything's and, half with this guy. The dad you know, with the on? community college. My dad took half the test for me. I swear to God. Yeah, so I, I had forgot. to give him two grand, but still. So it didn't matter what I got on it because already, I was- You I was were already be, in college classes or whatever. I, my, my path was going to be transferring from community college to a four-year university. Okay. And then your SAT scores don't matter when you transfer. 
Right. So I was doing my senior year of college I, or uh, high school. I was doing half community college courses and half high school. So Did I was you, driving off campus. Really? You were hanging out at a community college in high school? Yeah. He was like out front smoking cigarettes, <laughs> hanging out I on top of his car. I squeeze it and I was just like. <laughs> What's up, lady? Wait, yeah. so you hold on. That's pretty fucking trashy. I like this. Yeah, so, but it's to get ahead. That's I know, but here's, still, here's the thing, though. The, uh, the, he's a child. He's not 18. He's hanging out of fucking community he's college child. He's in the 90s. He's no, it's not that he was not 90. He's my age. He was definitely offered cigarettes early 2000s. <laughs> I whatever. think you have a picture of a kid in a diaper at a, at, a, at a community college with criminals. That's not the case. He was a senior in high school. Yeah. But you were you were under eighteen, correct? Yeah. And you were driving yourself to a community college and walking around those halls and sitting. What's in under eighteen have with those with degenerates it? in there? This is true. Hey, I was in, I was in community college for like a week. Like, I was trying to well, prey exactly. on these, these I was guy trying to kids. fuck these kids. <laughs> I know what goes on there. I was on the other end of it. <laughs> it's a shifty you're lucky, situation. Yeah, you're lucky. Foley get his hands on you. <laughs> it was you. nice because they just assume you're a good kid, which I mostly am. But like. They just trust you're going to community college, but I could just fuck off because I'm going off campus. Yeah. So it's great. You have this freedom to be independent oh, yeah, and adult. That's all right. Yeah. yeah I think I, it's, yeah, it's mature. Mm -hmm. Any trouble as a kid? Uh, nothing major. Rob a bank or anything. You ever been arrested? No. As a kid? No, no. Picked ne up. Never. But one time, I mean, you say, am I, am I a good kid or not? Just one time I had this weird outlier. I don't know why I did this. Kill a guy. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know. What came, yeah, over, what came over me? I just saw red, and then <laughs> the police were there. We were in my backyard, my parents' house, and they had this moat of like rocks, just for like decorative rocks. And then me and him just started throwing rocks through the neighbor's window. You and your brother? No, just a friend, a neighborhood a friend. How old were you? Maybe like eleven, eleven or twelve. And our goal was just to get all the glass out of the window. Like, it was a game. Was somebody living there? Yeah. <laughs> <This kid's nuts. laughs> like, someone could Jesus have been Christ. taking a shit. And, like, Abandoned throwing, house, like, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. To this day, I don't know why I did it. So we just, we just kept on throwing rocks through the window, trying to clear all the glass, make it super clean. And then... I got in trouble. And then was I, anybody home? Uh, no, but they found out, obviously. Because one rock would scare the shit out of you. Yeah. If another one comes in, you're like, oh, something's going on. It's right. on. We're under attack. Yeah, no shit. So, I mean, we had to pay for the window, but that's the only time I can think of something doing. That's pretty, yeah. I mean. Did you get grounded or anything for that? Uh, that's I think, I think we just yelled at. We didn't get grounded. We just got yelled at really hard. Huh. By your who? Mom or dad? Did the like, dad, dad is the superstar at that, but then... Mom, if it's big enough, sure. But she's more of the loving type. But my, sure. my dad's the disciplinarian. When the mom yells, it was always scarier because you weren't expecting it a little. Bit. Yeah, and she had the sandal or like you know. They were slipper. big with the sandal. Yeah. Yeah, I'll get hit with a slipper sometimes. Sure. Everybody takes a slipper every once in a while. What are you gonna do? Hmm. Hmm. All right. You guys ever live near a quarry or a cemetery? No. Okay. That's the weird thing about. I was in Philly doing shows and shout out. Yeah. Shout out to it. Walking around, there's just there's always plots, just a square of all these dead headstones. Old, yeah, yeah. yeah. Old, dead old school ones. Super too. old. Yeah, you can't even. It's smooth. Yeah, you yeah. can't even see the engraving. Mm -hmm. It's you're so removed from it. It's almost like a history piece, yeah, even some, though there's like bones under there. Yeah, yeah some weird. From the and someone with a like no one is crying. You know, <laughs> like no one's giving flowers and crying. We're so far removed. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, but it's just interesting to have a latte in your like cats for that guy anymore. <laughs> nuts. It'd be nice if someone did though, right? Somebody yeah. does. <laughs> There's, there's, uh, there might be a couple different channels or a couple different pages of nice people that go around and they get old graves like that and they power wash them clean off them, and cut clean them up. Yeah, uh, the pretty cool. Stuff. Do they re-engrave it because it's smooth? A little bit. Yeah, they hook it up. They make it nice. It's called Pimp My Headstone. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? I'm X to the Z exhibit. <laughs> they get him back. <laughs> and I'm gonna... Hey, we're doing a spinoff. <laughs> I always think that was the worst thing exhibit did career-wise. Like, but he's the, a gangster rapper. But I just heard it made him like a bajillion dollars. Yeah. And I, th I always thought did the it? same thing. I don't know, T-Bone, can you get a... Isn't he sad, though, a part of him that, like... I'm sure he would still love to be on that music path. But I don't when you're think he had it, though. What? He, he was with Dre. I he know. He was plugged in. But. And then you're yeah. pimping 16-year-old girls' cars with popcorn machines. Like, hooked them up, though. Yeah, That's but it's br funny. branding wise, it's very. Sure. You're, you shouldn't do that. Sure. I, he just came out. I just saw an interview with him about this. Because I thought the same thing. And I think he either made like zero dollars or like a bajillion. It was one or the other. Uh, Half a mil. An episode that, or total? That's not worth that's, that's not insane. worth it. <laughs> Real big shot, huh? Yeah. He uh, can't even bip his own ride at that kind of money. Now, does five, does, oh. 
<laughs> is 500 grand a bajillion dollars? <laughs> I said or nothing, so it was, it was closer yeah. to the or nothing. With I just inflation, watched, for back then it was a bajillion dollars. That's yeah. true. Yeah. But he wasn't that great of a rapper. He, he, was, was, he was on track. Dude, if you're part of the Dre camp, Chronic 2001 came out. He's all over that. Yeah, but he He's had prime. His, you're going to get one of us gripped up at Carbones. What are you doing over here? <laughs> Exhibit, we love you, buddy. I'm a big yeah. fan of X Starting Z. beefs on the street. Just calling it like I see it. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I was all an East right. Coast rap guy myself. Um, hmm. how many Fast and Furious movies have you seen in the theater? Maybe two or three. Me and my brother, we saw this is the last one we saw. We came out of the theater and we were like laughing hysterically. Uh-huh. Like it was a comedy to us at this of point. How crazy it is. Yes, because once they stopped at a certain point, they stopped obeying the laws of physics. And they're jumping they, building to yes, building. They, yeah, they, yeah. Like their, their cars are in space. They're uh-huh. going from like Mars to the moon. Yeah, Just yeah, there's yeah. no more storylines with traditional physics. That they're fucking going. Oh, it's the one where someone's hard drive is on like the 500th floor of this like Dubai penthouse or whatever, <coughs> and they fucking like they yeah, get, they, like, they, they, they bring a car building, yeah. in the elevator. They got the car in the elevator or something. It's something absurd. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's where I was like, this is just a comedy. This okay, point. Fast and the Furious Seven movie fucking rules. Mm. You saw seven of them. No, no, I haven't seen. No, uh, how many are they up to now? I think nine. Jesus, I think I've seen the first two. <laughs> and then I checked out. Yeah, he's is having... Luda still in him? Now nah, there's a rapper. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he's had longevity, man. Of course. Shout out to Chris Bridges. I think that was his name. Uh, what about going to eat as a, out to eat as a family? What would that look like? Did that happen? What was the story there? Okay, yeah, the treat for us, we would go to Godfather's Pizza. Okay, was that national or is that just that's, local? That sounds like it's regional. I feel like I've seen at, a couple of them floating. Around. There would be this old guy with like a hat, and he would say like. Do it like that, that was those were the commercials. He's like Godfather's Pizza. Like, oh. do it. I like. Hey, I'm listening. Yeah, that's all right. I literally want to go just from that impression. <laughs> Their tagline is Godfather's Pizza, a pizza you can't refuse. Yeah, <laughs> set us up table for two. Are they still around or is it done? Oh yeah. Oh shit. They're still banging. So okay, we would go there every Friday or every sometimes on a Friday. Okay, and we were so jacked to go there. That's sure. great. And my dad bought this. There was a special economy soda jug where if you bought it once, oh boy, you get the free refill. refills. So every time we would have to like load up the jug when we went to Godfather's Pizza. And then one time we were like almost there, and he's like, "Where's the jug?" And like, <laughs> <laughs> and like we didn't have the jug, so we turned around and we went back home to get the jug. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and what are you then gonna came do? Came back to Godfather's yeah. Pizza. Because they're not going to get one over my dad. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All not, right. I'm not buying a second jug for these animals. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's pretty good. You guys ever cook out in public? Ever use like the, the public grills or like mm. a park or anything? No. It's pretty good. Are you a bagel bites or pizza roll kind of guy and or family? Neither. My mom would buy party pizza, Totino's party sure, pizza, sure. which exactly I loved, loved when it. I was a kid. It's and great. then it's funny. You get older and you like br- you walk by the aisle and you see what it's priced at. Mm-hmm. And it's like you, f- 48 it's cents like, or something. Yeah, yeah. It's like 50 cents. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, it's good, though. It's good. Yeah, it's but right. having that piece of knowledge, knowing it's not like premium pizza, sure. retroactively <laughs> makes me like it less. <laughs> Even though when I was a kid, I was like, this is the, the best. best thing. Yeah, yeah party pizza. <laughs> um, what uh, If you were going to do a frozen pizza now, what do you do? I can do a DiGiorno. I can do... Okay. Respect a, a DiGiorno. Yeah. A Red Baron. Some, but the, the sauce is a little like spice. It's, the Red Baron sauce is a little... Caliente? I gotta, yeah, I got to be in the mood for a Red really? Baron. Yeah. I haven't had one in huh. years. A Red uh, Baron, that is. I have to taste that. I can do an Amy's, but that's... Amy's? It's priced too high. Yeah. Amy's is crazy. It feels Might healthier. Might as well go to Godfather Pizza She wants that. nine bucks for a can <laughs> of soup. What are you doing? And they're small pizzas, too. Yeah. Yeah. DiGiorno is your best. Dude, you pick up a, a DiGiorno, You're it's good. about 13 pounds. You're yeah. good. <laughs> yeah. Every time I'm walking, it feels like a sewer cap. I'm like, dude, this That's is- self rising crust. Ain't nothing uh-huh. to shake a stick at either. I, I'm trying to think. I was in this like small I ate the whole studio thing. one time. I couldn't. Like It wasn't very big, so I would have to cut a frozen DiGiorno into two pieces and then rewrap it in sure. saran wrap and put two halves. Like yeah. I'm chopping up a body. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people have to. Somebody just wrote in about having to do that, of like chopping up the frozen peach, which it's I never hard. had to do. 
I need a bone saw. Like, <laughs> it's hard to cut. It's funny. I've heard pe- people that did that intentionally because they didn't want to. They didn't want to cook the whole thing. They wanted to. Just, that's smart. That's instead crazy. of buying personal because yeah, they sell the those Red Baron personal the pizzas. Guys, yeah, but it's probably more cost effective to buy a big one and chop it up. Kips, how about Rex Med? Oh, baby. Shout Ooh, out to them. New kid in the market. They're that's doing all the hard about. work if you catch my drift. <laughs> Shout out to all you limp noodles out there, gang. <laughs> or if you're just looking for an extra <laughs> extra pep in your step. I need it. I'll tell you that right now. I'm getting older. I need a little. I need I need to juice a little bit. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Call me the Burger King. I'm juicing, baby. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what to tell you. Gang, do yourself a favor. Get over to Rex Med. All right. Makes getting generic, branded Viagra or Cialis easy so you can get rock fucking hard. <laughs> Something you can hang from, baby. <laughs> Guys, what are we talking about here? Everybody knows. Listen, it's got you got to have it on you too sweet when you're ready, when it's game time. I keep about two tree in my pocket at all times. Chewing one now. Uh, RexMed has made the whole process simple. It's just a few clicks of a button. Talk to a medical professional, create a personalized plan, and get the products discreetly shipped to your sh- straight to your door you within go. two days. Nothing labeled boner pills. Viagra can cost around ninety dollars a pill. Rex Med's generic Viagra is just as effective as low as two bucks a pill. Oh, look Move at them that. out the door. More than just ED medication, uh, they have sexual health, hair growth, pain relief, sleep aid, the whole nine yards. Man, talk about the plug. Let's I, go. I know. Shout uh, out to Rexmed. <laughs> guys, if you act now, take advantage of their best deal yet by heading to rexmed.com slash garbage. Our exclusive deal will save up to 90% off where you'll only be paying $2 per dosage. Starter packs of generic Viagra or Cialis are now available for our listeners to get started. That's rexmed.com slash garbage for up to 90% off. Give the gift of pleasure this holiday season mm. with Rexmed. More like sex, man. Am I right? Yeah, Rexmed. Get hard today. <laughs> Kip, it's Manscaped, baby. You mean the best in the GD biz, Manscaped? You smell that? It smells like clean balls right there. I'll uh-huh. tell you that, gang. You keep them trimmed, <laughs> keep them tight. You had them on your mustache earlier. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't smell anything. <laughs> that new car smell they're using over there. Yeah, they got shampoos, body wash, upstairs, downstairs, deodorants, gels, exfoliants. Cover absolutely everything you need to keep clean. Uh, they got the Shears 2.0, their full kit for nail care with scissors, clippers, tweezers, and a file that's great to go on it go, baby. Shout out to Manscaped. Plus, they got that lawnmower 4.0, the electric Ooh. razor, advanced skin safe technology is a life changer that reduces nicks and cuts on your Santa sack. Never. Never had one problem with that. No. Oh, that's the best in the business. It's waterproof. Got the light. If you use the beard trimmer, you can really jam yourself up. If you use, you know, like just a regular beard trimmer. I used to use blade and cream like a real J.O. Get 20% off and free shipping with code GARBAGE at manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping with code GARBAGE at manscaped.com. Manscaped for the perfect gift that will be this holiday's biggest hits. Do it. Now back to the show. Let me ask you this. It's kind of in the same vein. If you were making spaghetti at your house, okay, now as an adult, maybe you, a couple people, whatever, uh, Maybe us too if we were hanging. Sure, out. Sure, sure. <laughs> this is your soft invite to yeah, having a spaghetti right. party. So say you had two podcasters over yeah, to uh, yeah, make yeah, spaghetti. Yeah, yeah. I had the spaghetti on me. Chunky. Mm-hmm. Would you? Hey, we said no fat jars. <laughs> oh, my bad. No, would you? Sauce. Would you? And you're getting jarred sauce. Okay, I don't know if you make the sauce, whatever. But in this reality, you make the jar. You make the sauce. You get a jarred sauce. Would you cook the whole box of pasta and use the whole jar of sauce, or would you put either of those away? I would probably portion it out. I would really? put half the pasta in and like half the sauce. Because even half is probably this more than I'm going half eating. of something. He's, he's Bro, I'm, 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 I, didn't, I didn't even know this Dude, about myself. Every, every answer is half, half, half. 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 Yeah. Okay. Dad, it's, good it's good. I got I got, I got two more. You're entering your shower, right? I'm, I'm entering my shower? You're entering your shower. You, sure. turn the, you turn the water on, Yeah. right? Do, what are you, what are, you what, are you doing a door? You got a curtain? What do you got there? Uh, I got a sliding glass, glass door. door. Okay. This is now. This is now. And is, uh, easy does it. Go ahead. Stop leading the witness. Uh, is the shower head on one of the sides, oh. like the front or the back, or is it in the middle? It's on. So if I enter the shower, uh-huh. it's to the right. Okay. So you enter towards the back of where it's spraying, yes. not yes. under it. No. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that yeah, would no, be no. what a crazy person would do. I don't even know. They design it that way. They. they yeah. Could it, you get in the front way? I would have to like. Does that glass slide as well? I would have to contort myself like with the toilet. Yeah. It would be not ideal. Huh. He does that. He sneaks in by the toilet. Wait, on perp? Then- no. Yeah. Wait, what? What's the reasoning here? He's. I don't know. Um, this guy stinks. Oh, like- <laughs> 
<laughs> well, he was complaining that his floor was so wet for a year, and then we finally got into it, and here's the thing: he goes the, in for right the control, to the fucking. The controls are up front. I get the water the way I want it, and then I step into the shower. You don't come in. The, you don't come in from the back. No, you feel with the hand, and then you go in to make sure it's all right. I enter from. Okay, <laughs> did you always do it that way as a kid? I've too? always done it this way. Like, I will. I will. Which way does your dad do it? This is the guy. <laughs> should be, this is the guy should be talking to the head of the family here. This is ridiculous. I mean, don't I bet you... the old man's on my side. No way, dude. There's been like four people that have been on your side. <laughs> yeah, I just tilt the shower head so it, it you know it hits the wall mm -hmm. until it heats up. Yeah, so that I don't get cold when I get in. Let okay. it hit the wall for a bit. Enter from the back. Adjust the shower head. Primo. Yeah. All right. And then do you put, uh, you're getting dressed in them. You get out of said shower right. that you entered through the back. Mm -hmm. And you shower, you dry off. You two are really chumming it up here. <laughs> <laughs> see where this is going. Do you, uh, you're getting dressed. You put your underwear on. Uh-huh. At what point do you put your socks on? Do you put your pants on, then your socks? Or do you go underwear, socks? Pants. Man, I don't know if I've ever asked my, like, I just instinctively do it. Uh -huh. I've never retraced my steps and think about, like, the way I do it. Mm -hmm. Like, are you, do you, you are don't you know sitting, whether you put your socks on first or are not? Are you sitting on the edge of your bed with your jeans on, putting socks on? No, I don't sit to put pants on or sit to put, I do balance. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I do balance as well. Yeah, I like balance. Because if I can't do it, I feel like it's a bad sign. Like, maybe I need to go to the doctor. It's sure. kind of like a balance test. Either way, when you're good. doing that, or do you have pants on or not? You're not when sure. I put socks on, uh, I think socks go on last. Okay, this guy's shaped. Okay, up. here's here's why. Uh, because if you put socks on damp feet, uh -huh. you want to give your feet long enough to dry sure. so that the socks go on smoothly. Mm -hmm. If you're fresh out of the shower and you put socks on, that's a tug of war I don't need. You don't use a towel to dry between your toes and get I'll them all dry, dry, but still, like time is your friend. Huh. And what's why am I putting socks on ten seconds earlier? Like, what's that going to give me? Yeah. You would have to be an insane person to do that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, why not just put them on in the shower <laughs> at, that, at that point? <laughs> that would be crazy. Uh, all right. Let's see. Uh, someone Venmo's you 100 bucks. Yeah. Right? Do you do the instant transfer, or do you wait the two to three business days? I never transfer it to my bank account. Venmo, your Venmo balance is just for you to ping pong between people. Uh, so you really? have, you, so you verified your account one further step. I guess if because I can't use my balance anymore, they oh. want they want some sort of information, which I assume is going to screw me somehow. So I haven't given it to them. I feel like yeah, Venmo right. is just like ping ponging twenty dollars sure, between you course. and your friends your whole life. Mm -hmm. you just, it's almost like a, an escrow or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just leave it in there, have a chunk of change. That's the classiest answer I've ever heard. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. I do the I do the instant transfer myself. Mm. It's my money, and I need it now. <laughs> do I, you you know karate? I do not know karate. I don't know any martial arts. Never had a lesson or anything like that. No. Can you juggle? I can do three. I can do three tennis balls. You ever juggle in public? I've had no need to. <laughs> <laughs> no need. <laughs> Listen. I'm going to shoot yeah. this guy unless you Com juggle right Com now. Comedy has been going well enough where I haven't had to resort. All right, for my closer, somebody throw me oranges. You just get three yeah, like, no, this isn't going well. Uh, does anybody have three tennis balls? <laughs> this guy knows Fr what I'm talking Fruit about. will work. Um, huh. Anybody, now, oh, sorry, please. Anybody with web feet in the family? Not that I know of. Okay. Anybody with a limp? Mm, no. What about Hawaiian pizza? How do you feel about that? An abomination. Grew up on Godfathers. You think he's eating fucking? Come on, yeah. uh, Pine pineapple we were, on pizza. What are we doing? Thought we were gonna be. What's friends. the name of the place you get a haircut? How much does it cost, and what do you tip? Floyd's. Okay, uh, sounds it's, good. I mean, that's a chain. They're everywhere. Oh, really? It's pretty. They have a bunch of chairs. Is it like a haircuttery type thing, or like, it's like a, a, a 50s super cuts? greaser? Like, hey, what's up? Like, it's a supercuts basically. Whoa! But they all have tattoos and shit. It's like corporate cool. They're like. Hey, what's up? Yeah, I got room for you. Like, I got neck tattoos and shit. We're talking. Yeah, they okay. don't have they don't have them here. No, no. Okay, so yeah, I'm they, sure there's something like it. Though. They have Suavecito and all these products you can yeah. buy. They have cool music and it's like rockabilly kind of. Are they wearing those denim uh, aprons that like bartenders and cool no, chefs no. wear now? I mean, they could if they want to. If one is eccentric that way, Floyd's is like, loose sure. with the. They're with very the loose. <laughs> They're very, there's no yeah, uniform. That's the thing about Floyd's. <laughs> it's almost like you're lucky to be there, sure. and like they're your friend and shit. Okay. It's a cool spot, but I like it because it's easy to schedule. There's a lot of chairs. I don't. 
I don't always go to the same person. Sometimes it's schedule based. So I'm mm-hmm. like, okay, Tuesday at two, I'm open. I'm getting Frank. I'm or whoever, whoever whoever's available. Yeah, yeah. And I just tell them what to do. They do it. What's I think, that cost you? I think it's thirty five or thirty eight bucks, and then I tip. What, what do you, do you tip on top of that? I'll do a seven or ten, depending wow. on how good, good it is. Okay. Good. Yeah, and then I good. do a Venmo so that they don't gotta, you know, <laughs> there you go. transfer it back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, ever wear suspenders? Never. Yeah. Hmm. Have you had poison ivy as an adult? No. When was the last time you were stung by a bee? A long, long time ago. I got stung in the belly button during recess, Ooh. and it was very painful. What the hell were you doing out there? I was like, I don't know. It was like tall grass, and then it went up my shirt, and it stung my belly button, and Wait, it hurt Where was bunch. recess? What the what the f- f- Serene Lake Getty? Elementary, dude. <laughs> the Everglades? What the fuck? That was on the side of a mountain. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, but it's never happened since. Have you been stung by bees? Not in a long time. Yeah, I'm re- long I time. keep my head on a swivel when I'm outside. Okay. Stung by a bee as an adult is pretty trashy. Yeah, that shouldn't be happening. Unless right? you're a beekeeper. That's true. Yeah. Which they, they're pretty careful, too. Yeah. Um, hmm. Do you call it mini golf or putt putt? Mini golf. Okay. Putt putt sounds too. Childish. Like I'm too. Yeah, I'm too old mm-hmm. to say putt putt. In a restaurant, what do you do for water? You do uh, tap water, you do bottle, you do sparkling? Hmm. I mean. I'm I'm frugal. I'm cheap, so I'll I'll do tap. You do tap. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Will you stack the plates at the end of the meal to help out the server? No. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, yeah. That to me, that's the that's the right answer. Um, Stacking the plates? Like, no. It's then wrong. I then I work there. Yeah, yeah, you... yeah. No, you should. I don't think you should stack them. But right. If it's a basket, if it comes in a basket, yeah, you can stack a basket. You stack a nice <laughs> fine china. The places I frequent, you know. What Shoes I mean? off on the plane. No, never. Hmm. That's you, that's not the, you shouldn't be allowed to do that. TSA pre check, always clear. No TSA pre is good enough. Sure. Like clear, is I just it, don't like they cut you off at the pass. I really yeah, when there's hate some them. clear dickhead standing. Uh, there. please wait there. That, uh, he's okay. Yeah, how about he? They're always real to snooty too. Yeah, I just feel like clear is TSA pre with a flavor flave. They just have a hype man next yeah, to the sure. machine who's like, yeah, yeah, blah, blah. but TSA pre is the same. Yeah, same yeah, thing. yeah. I'm a pre check man myself. I didn't ask any pets growing up. No, we weren't allowed to have pets. No pets? No pets. Wow. Goldfish, turtle, nothing? Uh, I think I wanted a dog when I was a kid, but Mm -hmm. then we couldn't have dogs in the house. Huh. And then I just didn't care enough to get a fish. or I I didn't have that gear where I'm like, I want a guinea pig or I want a hamster. Mm -hmm. Sure. I just like freedom. Damn. I'm I'm like uh, like De Niro in Heat. Pets slow me down, you know? <laughs> 30 seconds. <laughs> you feel the slipper coming around the corner. Don't have a hamster. You can't slip away from it 30 minutes or less. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Any plants in the house now? What do you got now? You got an apartment or you got your own, your own place? I bought a townhouse. You bought, bought a townhouse. Bought a townhouse. I can sit next oh, to a landowner hey. over here. There you know? we go. Okay. Bought a townhouse. The money ha-ha's bought. There sure. you go. Any plants in there? I've got a snake plant in the corner. Okay. And then... I have this plant that a buddy accidentally left there when he was staying at my place for a few weeks, and I just I keep it on the kitchen. That's a little weird. Why would he bring a plant to stay <laughs> at your parties. friends? I don't know. And he he says that it's not his plant. Like, hey man, you, so you just you, have a plant. I that have a, You're being recorded. That thing's bugged. Yeah. You got room for my shrub? <laughs> that's what the feds do. The, they the, just the leave go like that. Is that, yeah. is, that nor- <laughs> is that normal? I have to plug this plant in. <laughs> yeah. It has like servo sounds. Do you yeah. Yeah. Have that? a little bit. That's weird. You just have a plant that your friend says isn't his. Also, yeah, he's like, I don't remember having that plant. Your friend's taking plants with him places. A little strange. Yeah. Isn't that like Leon the Professional? He always took a plant with him. Really? You ever see that movie? With yes, Natalie Leon. Portman? 100%. Yeah. yeah, yeah Great yeah, movie. I remember that. Always brought a plant with him. Hmm. Uh, do you like egg salad? No, gross. Really? I, is that like a mayo thing as well? Do you like, what, what do you think about mayo? Mayo's okay if it's just like a, a very thin coat on I'm a with, sandwich. I'm with this I don't guy. want gooped, I don't want, I don't want any gooped uh, mayo. And also like potato salad, not into it. Really? Man. Any salads that are not salads, get out, I, of, get I, out of here. I can really? go with that. Coleslaw, Man, get I out of here. I don't trust this kid. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this kid's making a lot of sense. <laughs> Any fireworks in your house right now? No, I wish. I love them. Uh, have you ever washed your shoes in a washing machine? Never. Dishwasher. I, o- I always think like I should do that sometime, but I can't bring myself to do to it. Do it. Mm-hmm. I just feel like it's too dirty and maybe it'll damage the machine. Oh, but- no, it's the shoes. The shoes come out wonky a bit. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah it fucks it, them up it, a little yeah. bit. Interesting. But they smell good and they're clean. 
I'm not getting mm. yelled at. But they look like they went through a washing machine. They look a little, they come out a little They askew. look like you got them from Ross. After yeah, shout out to Ross Dress for I do love year. Ross. Yeah. How's the credit score? Um, like uh, immaculate. It is, huh? Yeah. And yeah, what are you rocking? It. You got an Amex? What kind of cards we doing? Got an Amex. I got gold Amex. Okay. Get some miles on it. You gold know, Delta Amex. Man? Yes. I What's, pay it off every month, you know? Uh-huh. Okay. It's, not, uh, it's not free money. What medallion status you had over there on Delta? You know, I'm not a big medallion I, status. That's, doing. that's what a low man on the totem pole says. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we labeling it? This guy's Can't we all? Yeah, we're all people. What is status? What is medallion? Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I just sort of buy things with a credit card. I know that it goes towards points, mm-hmm. but I don't, I don't, I have buddies who will like fly to New York just because they want to hit status. They have nothing to do in New York, but they're like, I'm going to lose my status. I don't want to fucking get on a plane for five hours just for, like, status. Got to keep that status. What kind of luggage you're rocking? Just, uh, I got it from Ross. Okay. uh, It's it's a Samsonite, just a carry-on overhead thing what color are we talking black black mm-hmm. classic okay. it's got it's got flames on the side no, I'm <laughs> <laughs> at this point i gotta say sharp kid go with his money sensible oh he's a clown house it's, it's the clown most house. practical purchase hold on you can corner make. unit whoa you, you didn't fucking say that <laughs> right. i'm not finding any holes here the buddy bringing the plants a little weird mm-hmm mm. I respect the way he gets in a shower. I sure. Respect, the socks, especially the socks angle. respect the way he puts his socks on. Have you ever eaten at a strip club? Never. Would you, can you, would you consider yourself to be good at laser tag? Uh, I don't have enough data points. I think I've okay. played it That's once or That's twice. Right I'm, some guys are going to overestimate. They're going to say they're great, like they're combat veterans or something. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know what I don't know. Okay. Do you know how to do the electric slide of the Macarena? Oh, man. Macarena probably, but it's like deep in there somewhere. Electric slide's a little harder, but I know it's like there's some rocking and then uh, it's kind of like line dancing. Sure. It's like urban line dancing. Any weddings in the family as of as of recent? Any family weddings? Have you been to a wedding? I've been to a wedding. Cousin, a friend. So mostly I, I've been to Afghan weddings. I don't go to a What's lot of them. What's that like? What's going on there? It's more f- uh, festive. It's like at a hotel ballroom. There's dancing. Uh, I don't. Open I don't. Bar? That's a wedding. No, though. no. There's no bar. No booze. Because there's aunties and grandmas and stuff. You drink in the trunk in the parking lot. So there's uncles and All young right. kids, and you pour some like Johnny Walker Black from the trunk, and you have some like solo cups. So the, okay. like it's almost like this unspoken thing. Like everyone knows what's going on. But all the men just drink out of the trunk of cars at this wedding. And then they kind of come in a little looser. And everyone just plays this game like it's not happening. Sure. Because there can, right. there can be yeah. no alcohol in the actual wedding. Okay. All right. Now you're speaking my language. That's yeah. all right. So everyone has to go outside for a little bit, you know? Sure. Ever been in a helicopter? W- uh, once. I was working at Boeing and my coworker. Wait. Wait. You worked what? at Boeing? <laughs> oh. Yeah, I worked at Boeing Aerospace. Back you, this up. Are you your dad? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here? Yeah, I, I worked there as an engineer in Long Beach for like <laughs> three and a half years. Okay. Really? Yeah. Okay. That's how I got out to LA. I was doing stand up for four years. We sp- also didn't ask, I'm sorry to cut you off. We no. didn't ask you where you went to school after the community college. Oh, uh, UW, University of Washington. Okay. Huskies. Good school. Yeah. So All right. So graduated and then, you know, because stand up, like, I knew I wanted to do this since I was 18. So I knew I had to go to New York or L.A. And I'm like, oh, I want to keep it West Coast because my family's in Seattle. Mm-hmm. So I just Shout applied. Yeah, I just uh, applied to jobs in SoCal. So I got a job at Boeing in Long Beach. And then I would just drive up. and As an engineer. Back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty good gig, I would assume. Doing it's great. It's a career. But it was like a stepping stone to me. I was just using it. To, to get like, to where you want to right. To get to today. Instead of having to wait tables or whatever, you're doing that. Yeah, yeah exactly. Having a good salary, I would assume. Yeah, because like no matter. What were you working on? Commercial too? I was working on the 747-8 freighter and uh, passenger. I should have known when he said the fucking planes his dad was working yeah. on. It was like real jargon. He's like the mm. 737 to 747. What are you yeah, working yeah. on? What are you designing? Floor, floor beams. So I was part of the floor beams group. Designing the floor beams. It was more like computational. So the design group was right next to us, and then we would tell them, hey, this needs to be wider, or you need to use a stronger fastener. Like, it's going to fail at this uh, stress. You know? Would you be in there testing this shit out? No, nah, it was like, comp- like there was no... Testing it. I'm, yeah, <laughs> on the plane. <laughs> no, I, well, they do like the little mini version of the plane, and they put the air over yeah. top of it. Well, they would have these load cases in a wireframe, and so there's a software you load up, and you get access to all the different load cases. So... 
like the the stress a plane sees when it takes off, the stress it sees when it has turbulence, the stress the it stre- sees when Foley boards. <laughs> Could it make those seatbelts bigger? That, Come that, on, that was the biggest one. We always did that up top. It was the Foley test. <laughs> if, it doesn't, if it doesn't pass the Foley test, it doesn't stand a chance. All right, I'll give you guys a couple of hours. <laughs> you leave the room. You're like, yes, done? Yeah? Can I come back? Uh, where was I going with this? Why was I talking about engineering? I don't know, but it was sounded pretty smart. I'll tell yeah. you that. Uh, you're testing huh. the load beams, specs on the rotary girder. All that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What was what was the question before the? Uh, no, I think we just asked. Uh, you said you worked. The, yeah, I don't even know how we got there. You're smart. You're a smart guy. Eh, I mean, I'm you're a, a goddamn fucking no, aeronautical no, no. engineer. Yeah, engineer. yeah I don't I, remember. Wait, hold on a second. I don't remember any of that. Are shit. you considered an aeronautical engineer? I'm a mechanical engineer who worked in aerospace. Aerospace. That's what pretty the good. Fuck. Yeah. This guy doesn't even know what fucking medallion he is on Delta either. <laughs> what the fuck is a guy building my planes? <laughs> I want at least diamond, okay? <laughs> Wait, what were you doing in the helicopter? Oh, that's yeah, fuck, what yeah. What okay, okay, that's what it is. All right, so I was working at Boeing. I was building it. <laughs> yeah, I know. What? Oh, that feels so good. I feel working at Boeing. Boeing. Yeah, yeah. So I'm working there in a cubicle. My cubicle mate over here. Says, hey, he's, you want to go in my helicopter? He's, a, he's this older guy, maybe in his 40s at the time. I'm like, in my, I'm like 23. Or, so... He he's he flies he flies and he flies helicopters and he has to get his hours up to like keep sure. the license or whatever. So it's, lunch is coming up. He's like, "Hey, after flying this helicopter, you, you want to like you want to ride? You want to go in a helicopter?" I'm like, "I'm just thinking, when am I going to go in a helicopter again? Mm-hmm. Like a lunchtime helicopter? This is awesome." An LTH, an LTH. Go. I go, "Yeah, cool." So we get in the. He's like, "Let's take the doors off." So he takes. Wait, the, is it close to the place? Because we're, we're right by Long Beach Airport. Wait, hold on. I missed one thing. This guy is a pilot too. Yeah, he's an engineer and he's a pilot. Is it was a it helicopter? A, pilot. Was was it a company helicopter? No, no. this is his own time. Oh, okay. you got to just, just uh, do it. in keep, order to keep your license. Yeah. You got to fly fifty hours. So you weren't like a Blackhawk or anything like no. that. You weren't taking like the company. Black yeah, he's Hawk like, take the turret, and we're just going around <laughs> Long Beach. So, yeah, it's just a lunchtime helicopter ride. Hmm. Was it one of those little ones with the little weird thing that comes up? Uh, it was like a smaller helicopter, and he's doing all the stuff, and it's a lot of trust you put in someone. Like yeah, in hindsight, no shit, it's weird Especially knowing. Especially eating seafood at lunch, <laughs> fucking microwaving it. Get the fuck out of here! You're nuts. Ever been on a cruise? Uh, no, and I have no desire to do stand up. Like I've been offered like cruise ship shows. I just want to be able to couple of boat gigs, some boat gigs. I want to be able to disappear from the audience. If I choose, I don't want to have to be forced to see these people. I yeah. like the option of eating shit and never seeing people again. Couple of shrimp, oh, couple of shrimp in your mouth. Yeah. At the buffet. I don't, I don't need is. that. You hear them whispering. Yeah, not there's, saying, there's not no... saying hi, but pointing you out. <laughs> I've been there. Yeah. You ever do those shows where after the gig, people are walking out and like some people are saying, oh, good job. And there's other people, like couples just like leaving. <laughs> yeah. They give you like a. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Parking lot this way. <laughs> um, hmm. Mm-hmm. Will you tell a waiter it's someone's birthday at the table? Never. I like it. Even if it is your birthday? I don't want anyone to know. Yeah, I'm the same. Yeah, way. yeah, yeah. It's pretty good. Do you own an air fryer? I, lo- I love it. I preach the gospel of air fryer yeah, to everybody. Yeah, it's a everybody. problem with air fryers. People that have air it's fryers. It's a movement. It's like Tony Robbins. Sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you want to hear my pitches on air fryer? Like, okay. Lay it on us. On a reheating level, it's already worth the cost. It's a time machine. It tastes like it just came out. Pizza? Reheating pizza in an air fryer? Amazing. Mm-hmm. What'd you drop on your air fryer? I got a ninja one. Pretty, okay. you know. Actually, you know what? My aunt gave it to me before air fryers were cool. I was like, what is this thing? Before they were cool. Before they were cool. Yeah, sure. She was like an indie band for like kitchen appliances. <laughs> She's a hipster. Yeah. So it just stayed in my bottom cabinet forever. And then I kept on hearing about air fryers. And I go, oh shit, I got one. I think I have one of these. So I dust it off. Oh, yeah. Okay, here's the other thing. Tots? Tots in eight minutes. Tater tots. Tater tots. Crispy. Amazing. Sure. I yep. feel like tots got a bad rap because they they were mushy the, when you were in elementary school. Oh, but yeah. crispy tots. Now, tots now. No, tots they got are a good, hot. Tots, tots uh, never had a bad rap. No, tots. Never. Nah, tots no, lunch tots, 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 tots. Yes, they had a bad mush, rap. mush, cold, freezer burn. Right. They, they called a bad rap. Here doesn't you. bother me. Another thing, though, is like tots can switch hit. Tots are like hash browns. They could be a breakfast potato. Of course. And they could be a lunch potato. Yeah. I'll eat tots any nah, day. Any, you you know? can't do fries with eggs. You could do tots with eggs. No, you could definitely do fries with, fries with eggs. No. So you guys are what the fuck? Different... kids screwballs. What no, going on? Who does fries with eggs? Me. Not in the morning. It's my favorite breakfast substitution yeah. on planet Earth. Give me the fries, baby. This is, I mean, 
you can I'm about do to it. Walk out of here. You can do it technically, I guess. I no. feel like I'm I'm like a dirtbag uh, Gordon Ramsay. Like fries with eggs. Yeah. <laughs> Tots with eggs is. Uh, no, well, in New York, a lot of the diner, you go to the diners at night, and you get, if you are getting breakfast, to go, we're out of hash browns, we can do fries. Oh. So that, that would be the potato. But that would be, I'm talking 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah, you're all fucked up. Yeah. Right. It doesn't matter. I think I think a french fries in the morning is a wild Thank you. choice. Okay. It is. Yes. Deep fried food in the morning <laughs> like that, I would never do that to my body. Do which you have is tater tots temple. in your house right now? Yes. You I do. have like two bags. What brand? I have reserve talking? tots in case I run backup out of Backup tots. I have backup, backup tots. tots. In case the first tots fail. That's yeah. a real engineer. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Redundancy. Yeah. We have a code red. Oh, wait. I have backup tots. <laughs> never mind. We're good. Um, uh, what, kind of, what kind of brand are you banging with on the tots? Okay. There, uh, is it Onita? Is yeah, that one? Or Ida. Or Ida. So Oregon, Idaho. Or Ida. That's everywhere. That's pretty standard. But there's this tater tot from Gelson's that you can get. Hmm. That is, it's an Idaho potato. I forget what the brand is, but it's the tater tots from Gelson's that are like above and beyond any okay. tots I've had. Top shelf. Yeah. Top shelf tots. Top shelf tots. Hmm. Okay. All right. I'm. I mean, here's the deal. I'm pretty good here, I think. You have a globe in your house. Like a. Like a world globe? Yeah, like a globe. No. Okay. Do, is that common? No. Right. Yeah, but, but that would be a sign. That's true. Did. Yeah. No globe. Huh. What kind of? What are you whipping around in in L.A.? What are you driving? I upgraded. I have an Audi A5. Okay. Right. Okay. But before I was driving a, mo- a 2007 Mazda 3. Still pretty nice. That's for a very long time. Stick shift. I also, when I was living in Austin for a few months during the pandemic, I shipped the Mazda to Austin so I could drive, so I could have a car out there. What color is the Audi? White. It's a classy color. It's a white Audi. It's a white Audi. That's classy. Huh. It's like a dentist's car. Yeah. yeah. That's what I was going for. It's got real pediatrician vibes. Uh-huh. My, hmm. my cards say DDS. <laughs> <laughs> you floss every day? Yeah. My brother's a dentist, actually. Your brother's a dentist? Yeah. He gave him the car. He gave me the car. <laughs> <laughs> Take two of these, call me in the morning. You, um, you working out? Uh... Yeah, less so than I used to. Maybe like two times a week or three times Gym a week. Gym membership? LA Fitness, yeah. Okay. That's pretty good. How many suits do you own? <sighs> like two. two I, might, I might buy another one. I'm trying to buy I want to get like a nice one. Because before I would just buy a Zara suit and then... That's even the high end of the really? shitty suits. No. I, I'm an H&M man myself. H&M's nice too. But Zara's, Zara's right. better. Zara's better. Slightly. Obviously. Slightly. And then ta- I would tailor the Zara suit. But yeah. I kind of want to get a grown man suit. Yeah. You know? You have anything? Just you have one. A, yeah, I just did a, it. You have an IRA or anything like that set up? Yeah. You do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. 401k from Boeing, I assume? I transferred it because I don't work there anymore, so right? I transferred it to some like other type of Fidelity 401k, and I contribute the maximum every year. And yeah. I mean, listen, the kid's classy. Yeah, throw Down it, the throw line. It. Fantastic. Yeah, top notch. Runs a tight ship. Tight ship. Man, I mean, I thought early on. What deodorant do you use? I use Arm and Hammer, no aluminum. Oh, the al- I'm surprised it didn't say aluminium. Aluminium? <laughs> uh, no, yeah, that's the good stuff. It's, it's a toothpaste. Not, it's not gonna. Um, there's no antiperspirant quality to it. That's sure. the only downside. But then I just hear about all the aluminum stuff, yeah, and I'm no, like, eh, as long no as I good. smell fine, that's fine. What's a toothpaste? What will I do? Whatever's on sale, whether it's a Colgate. There's so many varieties. They have sparkles in them. They and have you're, fluoride. You're jumping brands on oh, the sparkles. Jumping. Sparkles were all Can right. you taste the difference between yeah. a Colgate and a Crest? Sure. Yeah. Really? Yeah. It just tastes like minty shit in my mouth. Uh, Mm-mm. I know. Scentadine tastes too weird, so I won't do that. And Crest then, was like dessert when I was a kid. Get my hands on one of those. Like Woo. after dinner, you oh, like man. one tube of Crest yeah, I think because it dinner. was spearmint, and I thought it was like sweeter. Mm-hmm. I can't tell the difference, so I just buy whatever's cheapest. But it's usually a Colgate or a Crest. They have a basket of them, and it'll be like. I do agree. A Colgate and a Crest are relatively interchangeable. If you're not going, you know, something super specific. Are you cooking at the house or are you eating out? Air that's fry. that's my problem. I I eat out. That's probably my one vice, like eating out too much. Order Me in, too. Or, order in wife, or huh? eating out. Nothing. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> I'll order in a lot. You mm-hmm. know. Well, here's the thing. When it comes to cooking, I'll do a breakfast. That's an easy meal to bang out. Eggs, that's yeah. super easy. Okay. Eggs, tots. 
and, <laughs> and you, got, you, he's got his goddamn tots. <laughs> yeah, I love tots. You need a tots, potato. Tots. Never fries. And then, uh, yeah. And if I cook like a steak, I can do that's pretty easy. I like just grilling a piece of meat and having a side. You got a grill? Uh, n- no, I'll do. I'll do like a skillet, like a cast iron skillet, got the and cast an air fryer. An yeah, air fryer. Okay. Yeah. That'll whip you up a nice din din. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what to. Yeah, kids, class through Dude, and through. I sharp got kid. Good family, mm-hmm. educated brothers. A dentist Dude, drives thought, a nice car. Got a four hundred one. Got 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 IRA money put away. The only the trashiest thing about him is the currently is the air fryer love, which you know, I'll give it. But you know, but I mean, I feel like the air fryer bridges all economic classes. Like everyone is all about that these days. Yeah, you can't right? get him on the air fryer. I'm not. I'm just saying it's not class. It's not the classiest thing. That's a time thing, you know. Like it's a time and flavor thing that even rich people are. Also, they're not having a stat, not knowing a status. Can or you speak a I'm second helping. language? A little bit of Farsi, not as good as I should. You understand it though. I understand more than I can speak. Okay, that's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, dude, I thought the haircuts in the bathroom. I thought for <laughs> yeah, I thought, I thought we were dead, going in yeah, the right I, direction. I thought we, I thought we had him fucking soup to nuts. That was the last fucking tragedy thing he said. The and e- his mom was about to become an entrepreneur. So he shot down Hawaiian pizza pretty hard too. Hmm. Hmm. Um, do you eat over the sink? Uh, n- no. Yeah. A- anybody in your family ever claim to see a UFO? <laughs> no. You keep your batteries in the refrigerator. No. Why? Is that a thing? Yeah, it's a trashy Man, thing. Man, he doesn't even know about I it. I know. Holy Come on, shit. what are we doing? Do you, have the- hand, do you have hand towels? Uh, like a towel on the railing in a bathroom, right? Yeah. yeah. Like, what else would you do? Just, like, dry your hands off with your shower towel? No, that's crazy. <laughs> you use your wife's. <laughs> Damn, this kid's. He might be the classiest dude to ever roll in. Uh, no Fahim no Anwar, way. everybody. 100% the nuts. grade A class. Holy uh-huh. shit. Wow. Buddy. Very few have come in and beat the gaunt. Yeah, like no that. kidding. Damn. Yeah. Part of me wanted to be trash, though. I thought I had some trashy. No qualities. shit. I worked at Boeing. What are you talking about? Working Whipping on the- an Aldi. Yeah. They asked about laser tag. You said data points. Yeah. yeah that's that's true. Fucking, that's a good yeah. point. Mm-hmm. You used, I just should have said, a couple, yeah, I fucking you, killer. Yeah. You used a couple of real smart guy terminology that I didn't understand. I took it as a fence. Do <laughs> <laughs> you think later down camera. the line I can get like an honorary trash degree? That'd be great. Like sure, going, yeah, 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 be... yeah, yeah. Like Cosby. <laughs> Come do commencement. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Buddy, what a fucking good time. Gang, special out right now. Hat trick. You got to check it out. It's on the YouTube page. What else you got coming up, brother? Let them know. Just on tour. So I think I'm coming back to New York in April. I'll be playing Bell House. So Love check it. that out yeah, if you're yeah. in town. And just go to fahimanor.com for other tour dates. Great. And then subscribe to the YouTube channel. There's a bunch of shit coming out and the specials there. Yeah, yeah buddy. Yeah, yeah. Check a, out the special, everybody. Go what a good it. time! We love you. This was so much fun, Thanks, man. Kippy, what do you got for him? Uh, like I said, the Gramercy Theater. Get yeah. those fucking tickets. Let's sell it the fuck out, baby. Big time. Let's do it, Big gang. time. Hi. Huh? Bet the whole bet the whole house on this place. If no one shows <laughs> yeah. up, I'm broke. Gramercy's huge. That's awesome. That's so cool. <laughs> um, you guys. Yeah, thank you. Buddy. you. And then obviously Patreon, the whole nine yards. We'll we'll see you on the road. We're announcing our new 2023 tour coming up uh, soon. Gang, we love you. We'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.